video on how to turn off the data on a Galaxy Tab 3. It also works on my Android phone, my S3. Let's see, so you go here, you're going to go to data usage, and it's going to look something like this. You unclick this to turn it off, turn off the data. You're going to get a message that says, unless you connect to a Wi-Fi network, you will not be able to use the internet, email, or other apps that require a data connection. Mobile data will be turned off. And you hit OK. So you can actually download an app called AppLock um, if you want to lock the settings. And what that means is it will require a password to get in the settings or any other app that you want to lock up. So what you do is you go to Play Store. I already have it um, up and running, so I'll show you. I'll show you step by step, I guess. So we'll go App Lock in the search key on Google Play. And then, let's see, let's go search. So you're gonna, this guy right here, number one, is by Do Mobile Lab. It's called App Lock. Download that. So you go over here, hit install. And accept. And this shouldn't take too long. Right now I'm on Wi-Fi. Okay, it's open it up. It's gonna have you create a password. Make sure you write down the password. Again, like I said, please remember to write down the password. You will, I mean, if you forget, it sucks. But there's another step in here that you can uh, tie up your email account with AppLock. And if you do get uh, locked out, they can send you an email. So I'm just gonna type in two, 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 two. Okay, and then it's gonna ask you to re-enter it. Two, 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 two. And then it's gonna ask you for security email. Uh, strongly recommend you set up a security email to enjoy more functions and more security. Without a security email, there will be more security hazards. Okay, so I'm gonna put in my, after you put in your email, this will pop up, you hit okay. And you have all your apps for the most part. And then you say I want to lock Google Play Store because I don't want my kids to uh, buy games or whatnot or anybody else for that matter. I hit there and it locks. And I'm gonna go through here and I'm actually going to lock settings as well. Oops. A little sensitive on the screen. Okay, and then you can go through here and see what you wanna lock and you just do the same thing, you lock it and to get in it, you're gonna need that password that you typed in earlier. M make sure you write it down and just uh, put it in the file cabinet or uh, wherever you keep your passwords at. Let's see here. And I'm just looking for other ones. Oh, YouTube, I want to lock. Just in case. Be okay, we'll clock on. And that's good for now. And so after you, after you want to lock, say you want to lock uh, certain games, maybe the game's only for you and you don't want someone to ruin your level, um, you know, or ruin your game credit, if you will. You can lock, uh, you know, as many games as you want. You can lock anything. Just remember, you have to have a password for all these. And then after that, you can, uh, you exit out. Let's exit out. Let's exit out and I'll show you how to do it. Let's see. So when I go to settings, it's going to require that password that I typed in earlier. So one, two, three, four. See, and that's that. And, you know. Okay, so you go into, uh, and that's about it. So if I go to settings, I'm going to need that password that I typed earlier. One, two, three, four. And I'm back into my settings. And that's that. And uh, to turn on your data, you just go over here and click on the box and you can turn it back on. But uh, that's that. And I believe that app lock saves me at least on uh, overage charges on the data.